Uh, I'm watching uh, Mike Morales World, yeah, okay. Above Ground World what News. Uh, his Pass. guest Pass. is yeah. uh, our atmosphere, our lower atmosphere. Uh, it was a uh, Billy Hayes. Uh, we were we talk about small. He worked on harp in the big city, coming out the mountains, uh, locked in the big tree mountains, and this stuff just walks down in these valleys, and people walk around joking the. Uh, they got a rating on uh, what type of air you're breathing today. Well, they tried to clean that up. And, uh, you know, all this money went for non lead gas. And, uh, oh, my God, they, there were so many things that they, they had us jumping through loops for. Then they turn around and come out with an atmosphere full of metallics that they throw down and... In the process, when all these new confounded particulates mix with some of the old black stuff, the result is you're developing a number one, a silicon based electronics. When you take lithium and you take aluminum and you throw some crystals into it, silicon crystals into this. It blows up, you know, it gets in the dust, and it gets up. You have developed everything to make a semiconductor in the air. You throw some oil up there and some diesel fluid and some kerosene, and now you have thermite. Exactly. Not only do you have thermite, you have nanothermite, super thermite. This comes down in the air and some of the real fine stuff continues until it, it cannot have anything to support it underneath. This is a band-aid I was talking about yesterday. Yeah. Trying to plug up the holes in the ionosphere. It comes in from underneath. Now you got stuff falling on, on top that's put, uh, put into these sound rockets. And it comes together and every, everywhere there's a hole, you just packed up the ionosphere. China. Yeah, temporarily. Then you have to make a charge through that. Right. Well, now, who cares about that? Now they found out, through the higher technology over the years, that they don't have to use the ionosphere. If they have a conductive atmosphere... Buffering. Be right back to killing people. Oh, that no. What he's talking about is killing a lot of people. you don't have to have long wavelengths. You can use, preferably, short wavelengths. Because you can bounce more than once now. You can bounce more than 20. In fact, you can bounce 20 times all the way across the Pacific Ocean and maintain either communications or a weapon of destruction. Because now you've got ship trails down there the water is conductive to the point that uh, the ferrous oxide in it moves with the pulses. And if you can move the water, the iron in the water, then you can make tidal waves. Yep. You can throw wave, in, uh, wave distributions. You can change currents. Wow. If you can change currents, you can change the whole weather base. If you can change currents, you can change food sources. And if you have nanothermite that's pushed up against lithium, which are in ship trails, and I don't think most people realize that. Ship trails, you ever heard of that? That's where they yeah, dump shit out in the ocean and fog it out. Wow. Heavy fuel, they toxic. They are heavier metal. Lithium is a very heavy metal compared to aluminum. Lithium clouds. And they say that trails. the natives were primitive. And they do form into clouds, Ooh. by the way. Lower clouds. Nope. It cannot come into oh. the coastline and go over the mountains. What do you say? Nah, not primitive. 
so they're trapped on this think side so. of the mountains. Females just have a problem gone. with the ground. But when they mix with the dirty air, it's heavy enough to fall over the mountains. So California becomes a trash can for all the dirty air. The whole coastline is set to be on the mountains because it trash can all the bad air. Same thing across the pond. <coughs> huh. up, guess what gets mixed with? Across the pond, eh? It gets dirty. Where does it go? It takes it down low. What's down low? Hurricanes. If you got lots of metal mixed up with the dust, all of a sudden you have supreme control of these dust storms across the Atlantic. You can start moving them just like you do hurricanes. The only thing is they don't have quite the energy to make a motor. You can get them to swirl. You can get them to arc. You can get them to rip. But you almost can't get them to, to make a high-speed orientation like an armature on a motor. Yeah, I'm looking at a... It looks like a... Uh a fire over in California right now. It looks like it's got some thermite explosions going on. Oh, that's up here in my neck of the woods. We've got a picked up. Well, you know, everybody was wondering why these fires burn so bad. The firemen were going out and the firefighters going out. And they were coming back saying, I can't believe it. We couldn't put the fire out. It's two feet down in the ground. We couldn't get to it. The earth itself was burning. There were cars burning. The engines were just melted out. The wheels were melted out. Only thing that was left on most of them was a the frame and, and some of the body. But everything else on that car was melted. They had uh, people's house, uh, fences just curled up. Yes, because it's all soaked, our fences, uh, soaked down into the soil. Soft metal. Soft iron. Yeah, the, right. yeah, the cast well, iron. Well, things can do that, sir, Mike. Yep. Yeah, we got one heck of a fire north of... Uh, you know, I'm not sure where this is at, but it's north of the Paradise area. But man, it looks almost like the Paradise fire. Take a look, people. Like, I don't have a lot of time to record on this. It takes me forever to upload it, but... That's eight minutes of uh, Mike Morales' channel. You might want to have a look at him if you're in doubt. Because there's a bunch of dicks up there taking shit and dumping it in your world. Don't even know it, do you? No, I don't. Ah, ah, dinosaur. Don't become a dinosaur. You see what happened to them. <laughs> Much love.